Imagine creating these kinds of videos on your phone. This channel has gained tons of views from posting whiteboard animations, earning nearly 2,000 a month from these videos alone. I'll show you an easy yet effective way to make these videos using just your phone. First, you need to brainstorm some ideas. Let's head on over to ChatGBT. So let's head on over to Canva. First, you're going to go to the search bar and you're going to put in YouTube video. Now that you have searched it, you're going to click search for YouTube video at the top. And now you're going to click Canva templates. This will bring you to all the templates, but you just want a blank one to create your animation. Now that you have Canva open and a blank canvas, we're going to head on over to ChatGBT to get some ideas. I wrote in, write me a 10 line script for a whiteboard YouTube video and motivate about motivation. Don't worry, I'm going to put this in the description so you're going to be able to search this too. These are all the scenes, they break them down in the image, uh, the voiceover, so you know what to put. So now we're going to go to the top so we can look. So scene two, garden illustration, image, a blank garden plot with soil and a few tools. The voiceover, think of your motivation as a garden. See, so you pretty much got all the scenes played out to make a video. So now this is the second way that I also use. I'm going to put in write me five titles for my YouTube video about motivation. And I press search and then it tells me five YouTube titles. Now I'm going to take number one, unleash your inner drive, tips to stay motivated every day. Now the thing about this method is it doesn't give you the images. And you want to know, you want to know what the images are going to be instead of guessing. So I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to copy it and put it down below, but I'm going to say elaborate so I can get a clearer concept of what my video is going to be about. Now, as you can see, it puts title, description, introduction. This way is a little bit more complex. I do recommend the first way if you want to take a more easier route. So as you can see, it gives good introduction. It shows you what you can make the video about. You pretty much got a whole script for your animation, which is good. So let's head on back over to Canva. First, we're going to make a title and I'm going to put in understanding motivation because that was one of them. I'm just giving an idea of what and how I make these. So first I'm going to put in understanding motivation. I'm going to stretch it out so that it will fit on the, on the canvas. You want it to be just one line usually so you can have some room for your animation. So now that it's fitted, you're going to want to go on over and click effects. You're going to go all the way to the back and you're going to click background. Nice. See how bold that is? That's what you want. Now I'm going to animate it. I want it to be typewriter because I want to look like it's writing it out. Perfect. Don't worry, we're going to adjust that later because it is moving kind of slow. So now you're going to want to cut off right where the motivation ends. So now that you have two canvases or two videos, now you're going to take the effects off the second video animate and then just go all press all 
and then go all the way and then it says none. Perfect. Because if it's already written it out on the first video, you don't need a written note on the second. The second video is for your animation. Make sure when you do, do the typewriter, like you click the typewriter, make sure it's only for on entry because you don't want it to remove the words for the second. You want it to look like it written out the words for the second video too. I hope I didn't make that confusing. So now we're going to click elements. You're going to put in something like motivation and let's just click. Well, as you can see, there's tons of animation you can choose. I usually choose graphics because they're more easier to see and they're bold. So you open it up and you make it fit the way you want. And now, as you can see, it fits perfectly. So now we're going to animate the animation. You're going to click animate. Now, we want this to look like it's wiping on. So we're going to click wipe. Great. So now you're going to want to go all the way over and click elements again. Now you want to look for a handwriting. As you can see, Canva is stocked with tons of images. So I clicked this hand. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger, but as you can see, it's under the writing. So we're just gonna go on over to layers and we're gonna take the hand and put it above the writing. So it's above the writing and the animation. So it looks like it's writing it. This is where the magic starts. Tap the hand and copy the hand down to the first Canva. Just drag it down there and now it's on both. Now you can see how it's writing. But now we need to make the hand move. So now you're going to click the hand and you're going to scroll the way till you find animate. Click animate. And now you're going to scroll all the way back until you find create. Now you're going to grab the hand and move it in a scribbly line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just to make it look like it's writing the understand motivation. So I don't really like that one. I'm going to click delete and I'm going to redo it. Better. Way better. So now you're going to want to find the typewriter for the writing. Because you want the hand in the writing to sync. You can adjust the speed so that the hand looks like it's writing the writing. Look at that. Perfect. Now let's go over to the second Canva and do the exact same thing. Just find, find animate and you're going to scroll until you see create and click create. We're going to move the hand again. As you can see, perfect. But we want the hand to move faster so it looks like it's drawing the image. So you're going to go back to wipe where the image looks like and you're going to speed it up. Yes, a little bit faster. There we go. And you're going to speed it. See, we want it a little faster. Just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Now it looks like it's writing it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I don't know. That's, that's pretty accurate and pretty nice. I love it. Okay. And then you just press download. And then down, you download it. And that's the first way to make this. Now this second way is extremely easier. So we're going to go on over and we're going to click apps. Now we're going to click upload. And we're going to recreate the image we just made with the understanding motivation. And 
we're going to put make it exactly the same way spread it out make it fit the canvas yes and then we're going to make sure that it fits stretch it out on the canvas make it the exact same way as we made it the last time okay, so now that you have the image done download it now that you have it you want to go to apps you're going to the search bar and you're going to put in Speed Painter. Click the app, the one with the little dog, the corgi dog, and then you're going to choose a file. Now the image that you just created, you're gonna go to photo library and you're going to put that in. Now it says you can sketch three seconds and color in will be three seconds. Um, so it will tally up to about six seconds click generate like I said this is the easiest process but the other way is effective as well this way is a little bit of a shortcut which is nice too so while it's generating the video there it is and you're going to click the video so it will go on the canvas Now you're going to stretch it out so that it fits in the canvas and let's see what it looks like. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's it's definitely a toss up. It depends it what it depends how much work you want to do, you know? But that is the second way. And then you just click download and then it downloads the video. That's it. As you can see, there are two ways to accomplish these types of videos. Both of them are great, but it's your decision. One of them only takes 10 seconds, the other one about 30 seconds. So either way, it's still pretty easy. If this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.